Okay, I had this uh, dumb visual novel idea a while back, and I'm going to tell you about it. So basically, it's called uh, Me and My Frankenstein. So one of my favorite books when I was in uh, school was Frankenstein, because um, there was a lot of reasons. It's like probably the only book that was like really good. I mean, there are a couple books that were pretty all right, but like, you know, that's the one book that like sticks in my mind for some reason, because there is something about it. And the something was that it was... Um, it reminded me of, of, of Toxic Yuri, which I wouldn't discover until years later. Um, basically, uh, you know, so if you haven't read Frankenstein, the book starts off where, like, it's like a flashback, flash forward thing where it's like, the um, I think it was the uh, Dr. Frankenstein, one of his, like, friends or, like, family or whatever is writing letters to him. And that's now he is. And then it zooms forward into, the like, the thing is, like, you know, it, it, it implies that, like, something horrible happened to him, I think. And then, you know, it starts off with, like, he uh creates the the monster and the monster gains sentience and like you know it um you know it you know leaves i don't remember the entire book actually but it leaves and basically frankenstein has to hunt down the monster and try and kill it but the monster doesn't die and then by the end of the book um frankenstein dies and then the monster is like uh you know is so stricken with grief He's just like, uh, he's just like, uh, cause the, cause the monster is not a bad guy at all, but it's, you know, he's, he's considered a horrible, uh, f demon force of nature because of his, like, you know, the process of creation. He's literally a flesh, flesh bag. So, um, he, he resents his creator and, um, he does not like existing sometimes. And I, I think he wants to just like, you know, take revenge on humanity for, for his, uh, you know, his life or whatever. And then, uh, the doctor, he tries to hunt him down or whatever. And then, you know, he, he tries to hunt, you know, they try to hunt down each other basically. And then, um, yeah, the monster gets stricken with grief and just like disappears into the, the fucking Arctic for never to be seen again, basically. Um, and there's like a lot more to that, but I, I, it, this was like years and years and years ago. So I forgot how it went, but, um, basically i remember that book very fondly for some reason i want to reread it but i thought i thought of it sometime i was like wow this 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 would make a very good uh visual novel so um basically i have this idea for like a um a version of frankenstein this, this is probably overdone by this point too but a version of frankenstein who's just a really like who becomes a scientist specifically to to make like a uh like a romantic partner or like a, a, a sexual partner because she literally just does not have any kind of way to do it. Otherwise she just gives up. She's like, all right, you know what? Fuck this. I'm going to make my own uh, romantic partner. And then, you know, she becomes a brilliant scientist, studies up, locks in, uh, and, and she gathers like flesh from the fucking cemetery. Like the doc, like Frankenstein did in the book. Um, and, she like uh makes a creature basically to uh to be her romantic partner and the creature i mean of course it has the human brain of like a like a fully grown adult like a, i'm assuming like a 50 year old fucking person i don't know and you know you know they they know full well what this is about and they're like all right whatever <laughs> so they agree to this right and since this is a visual novel it's gonna have like you know um Erotic, erotic elements <laughs> it's going it's going to be this isn't this is just an idea by the way this is just like a thing i'm sure they did this like in you know they did this in japan 50 billion times already it's like overdone or whatever like alice in wonderland but i don't know i thought it was cool so um this 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 doctor dr victoria by the way because doc is victor frankenstein victoria oh i'm so creative yeah yeah but um um yeah she just makes this creature and then they you know they fuck and basically um you know after a while uh the creature grows resentful for for um her because you know they don't feel like romantically fulfilled because also this 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 whole thing is about asking like the weird ethical questions on if you know if you create a sex toy is that like a good thing no it's not so um it's like asking that weird that weird fucking weird ass question is like hmm I wonder how would how would a um a, a a sentient piece of flesh feel about being just because about being becoming alive and having to deal with uh life once again because their creator is literally a, a rizless 
loser. <laughs> and I was like, that's a funny idea. And it's like, it probably would be like a co- comedic, comedic kind of tone. But yeah, I mean, it could ask some like really serious questions because it's like, honestly, you know, at what point, like, were you created just on a whim? You know what I mean? Like, what point are you just an object? What point are you just like a, um, you know, not let me have any kind of like, you know, reasonable, like, you know, life about you, I guess. You know what I mean? Like, I guess it's like the matter of like the, uh, the creature in this case is like an androgynous kind of like f- flesh bag that's like, a, um, you know, used off a, a mix of like parts or whatever. You know, they have like the um, the face of a of a of a beautiful woman and like the um, the torso of like a of a like an elderly man or like a like a or something like that. I don't remember. Maybe it was like a elderly man, old middle aged. You know, less than middle aged. I don't remember. Torso of a dude, face of a woman. Um, legs of a person. I don't know. Somewhere in between those two things. Uh, androgynous, non-binary. And I realized, wait a second. This is a stupid idea. Um, stupid and weird idea. But, um, I don't know. I thought it'd be funny to just exi- for it to like be existent. And maybe so, like, if you want this idea, you could have it. Frankenstein is already public domain. I don't own it. So go ahead and take it. <laughs> I don't give a shit. Um, I thought it'd be funny. But um, I don't know. I think the the main thing about it would be like, um, you know, like story arc would be like the the creature finding its own like uh, you know sense of self, I guess. And the, the, I guess the matter is is that like I guess I would want it to end that they just like you know like each other on their own terms. It's not like a um because it's not like you know like it's I don't know. It's, it's a very weird question, I guess. It's a very awkward question to ask. It's not a very, like, you know... It's not a very comfortable question to ask about, like, you know, this entire relationship. Which is which is uh, interesting, you know? It's at least interesting. It's not, like, a, um, a boring dynamic. But, uh, yeah, it's something I don't I don't feel like writing because I'll take a lot of uh, care and carefulness about it. But, yeah, I don't know. I thought... It, but at least it would have... I think there could potentially be a couple of scenes that are you know, g- genuinely romantic, but, um, and also, I'm not even, I'm not even into the sex part, actually, I'm not even into it, I just, I just thought it'd be, like, I just want them to cuddle, it'd be kind of cool, I guess, <laughs> looks like ground, I guess, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, this is a weird relationship, basically, yeah, it's just, like, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking, but here, here's the idea. I don't know what else I was going to say about it, but um, here you go. Oh, also, um, me and my Frankenstein refers to both the monster and the doctor because, first of all, technically they share the last name, um, either romantically or, like, familially, which is a scary thought. Um, but also, they... Um, you know, in in popular culture, they get confused for each other often. The Doctor is still Frankenstein, and the monster, the creature, is Frankenstein. In the film, but he's he's no, he's not Frankenstein. He's not actually named Frankenstein, which is, I guess, I I don't know. 